Well, time for a Palladium update. I haven't done one of these in a while. Now, there's a lot of mythology beside, associated with Palladium. Actually, it comes from Pallas, and um, it's a Greek god or goddess, depending on what mythology you take. In some cases, it's um, a god who is a warrior, and in other cases, it's a, it's a female. But it also um, has various connotations, so I'll give you a standard connotation on it, because it's about... Let's talk about the asteroid, Pallas. Pallas Athenia was the second asteroid discovered, named after Jupiter's daughter. Pallas Athenia is intelligent and cerebral. She is a weaver of patterns, linking ideas together. She is a strategic command in both the warrior and the peaceful general. Cities are her domains. She has an interconnection with Libra because of her focus on ideas. Like Libra, she can see both sides. She is not blind justice, she is only just. She is creative and artistic, she is a survivor, she expects everybody to claim their personal power. So, that's what we will think of Palladium as. Actually, Palladium was named around the time uh, Pallas, Pallas, the asteroid, was discovered, which is the second asteroid which was discovered in the asteroid belt in the third largest al uh, asteroid. But Palladium has actually been, the, the name has been around a long time. It's the, known as a protector of a city. So I'm going to get into some things about Palladium here. Actually, the biggest mine in the world for Palladium is in Norilsk, Russia. It's in northern Siberia. And I drew this line here because it is one of the old hub points of the uh, Soviet-era Gulag system. And 39% um, of the world's Palladium comes from Norilsk. And 43% of all the world's palladium comes from Russia. Okay, And a lot of it is actually shipped down to Krasnoyarsk because that's a major train station hub. There's a lot of warehouses down there. They have a lot of exotic metals, the isotopes and everything. And uh, believe me, the Russian state and the people all around Putin and Putin himself are fantastically wealthy. There's no doubt about it. So... Anyway, one of the problems, though, with Norris is that they have major pollution. They have to pay their miners double rates just to get them to work there, and they still cannot even keep enough people in their mining. All this purple area around Norris is dead. There's, like, not even any trees growing within a 20-mile radius of the, of the mine for the most part. It's all dead forest tundra, dead forest. Um, it's, it's just dead, the whole thing. And uh, it's one of the big problems. Now, you could put that also in conjunction with what happened to, uh, in South Africa because palladium supply declined 12% in 2012 to 6.4 million ounces on the South Af due to disruptions in South Africa. Platinum also dropped 10%. But the other thing is um, where it's making up for it is not so much Russian stockpiles. It's through recycling. But still, that lags very, very fi far behind because well over 90% of all palladium is actually used in industry. Industry. So today we saw a slight pullback in palladium prices. But you know, if the metals were not hammered so bad in April, like silver and gold was deliberately attacked, of course palladium was brought down. It would have easily been over, way over $800. Easily. Easily. So... Don't expect it to be down forever. It's going to be continuing upward again. But you know, it's interesting. Palladium is also taking a word in fashion. You notice the fashion, high fashion shoes, palladium theater. Uh, palladium is actually associated with something above and beyond even gold. And actually, it will be um, exceeding platinum even. It's more rare. It's tougher to produce. And you know, you could take statistics out and say, oh, well, it's like... Um, you know, it's in the ground, it's lots of it. But the thing is, you got to produce it. you got to actually make it. You know, I could say palladium's on the moon, but what good does that do? Because it's not easily accessible or easy to produce. But it's actually becoming one of the big hints, though, that palladium is going to be something worth more than gold. Look how it's associated with fashion. Fashion. It's actually becoming where palladium is becoming... Um, like something, when you mention the word palladium, you're talking something higher than gold and higher than even platinum. 
that is telling you where it's going right there. But there's other reasons. Like I said, a lot of it's used in industry. A lot of it's actually even used in dental. Um, you know, the other thing is, too, that with palladium, there's other new uses coming out. I talked about before, besides the catalyst with cars, which is coming on stronger, there's more and more automotive production. And even a small car requires a catalyst. But also, besides the only thing that can actually purify and help produce uh, pure hydrogen for the clean fuel of the future, that's palladium, right? But something else that's becoming a problem. Now, we know about silver being able to take germs out of water and things like that. But you know what? There's other problems with the water supply. It's also chemical elements in the water supply. And what happens is it's being tainted by that. Now, silver can't do anything about that. It could take out microbes, but it can't take out chemical elements. Whereas palladium, there is efficient ways to take a lot of these uh, volatile compounds from like paints and industrial waste and chemicals that's getting into the groundwater where it can actually be processed through a palladium type of filter just as you know it works as a catalyst almost like it makes the the uh, the the volatile poisonous elements inert so by putting them through palladium filters and actually it's a very very efficient process so it's going to be another big use for palladium because even after, say, oil disappears, water is going to be the big thing in the future. And you're going to need palladium to process clean water. Clean water. And also, after fossil fuels are done, we might not be going into electrical cars as much as maybe hydrogen cars because there may be, and I already know the technology is there to produce cheap hydrogen, but if they had hydrogen cars, you need palladium in the fuel cells you need palladium to produce the hydrogen cleanly and efficiently so you know hail to the goddess palladium because it looks like uh, the goddess palladium is going to be the big winner not silver in the long run it actually is going to be and most people get it wrong so i'm telling if you the few enlightened if you're re ready to hold on for a long time palladium may be a major major big winner